All right, Nathan, what are we doing today? All right, we are Dorito swapping this thing today. <laughs> no, so finally, we're finally back in the shed. It feels amazing to finally be back it in here. It has been months since we have been done a lacking day. some good quality wiper blade changing content. So we're finally back in the shed, back to our normal program. <laughs> And we're finally working on the Gemini. As you've seen, we've gutted out the interior, if you've seen the previous episode, and we've found some beautiful Flintstone holes. Um, but realistically, we can't do any more with that because we're waiting on our beautiful floor pans. They're not far away, by the way. They're not far away, by the way. So that scares the hell out of me because we've never done rust before. I was <laughs> hoping they were gonna be another three months to delay the job. But anyway, what we have done is Michael went to Burson and ticked every box <laughs> to get everything, everything, we need. Yep. <laughs> I went, Gemini, give me everything. <laughs> and this is what you end up with. All of this goodness. It actually doesn't look like a lot, but it's mainly brakes and mechanical. Yeah. So we have kind of divvied it up. This is everything we need to do engine wise. So we have, we've got obviously oil, leads, thermostat. We've got a brand new water pump, belt, uh, plugs, radiator cap, ignition distributor rotor and contact set everything for that like that engine wise to get it kind of everything freshened up and then we do have everything brakes wise to get it freshened up because if you all don't know the brakes are locked on uh, locked tight on this thing yep uh so we have brake stuff steering rack boots we've got wheel cylinders wiper blades shock absorbers uh, new battery so we got all that as well we'll see how far we get through all this i think the engine's going to take us a little bit but we got all this stuff to go through to kind of get it up to scratch underneath and then or to get it mechanically moving parts wise up to scratch and obviously there's a lot more to obviously get it roadway we need tires uh, and stuff like that uh, but firstly i think we're just going to go back to old school and this is what happens when you get a rusty pos car is you do all this stuff yep you, do, you go through your simplest of things all right let's get into it so let's start i think we start with under the engine bay it's pretty simple i'm actually wondering is it worth taking the bonnet off just for the hell of it it's only like literally two bolts and panel gaps don't exactly matter on this thing. It's up to you. We can do that, I guess. Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, that way the lighting will be a bit better, eh? Yeah. All right, bond it off. Let's get into it. You want to have a back? Oh, that fuel stinks. Woo! Oh, we have gunky. Do we just want to roll it out, cover the carby over with a bag, hit it with some um, degreaser and just hose it off? I reckon, yeah, because it's... I didn't bring the pressure washer because it was going to rain today, but yeah, I right. think we might need to do it. And then at least from there, at least it'll be clean to work on, and then we can do what we need to do. All right, let's roll it out. Let's roll. Oh my God. What? Did you notice how rusted this was? Pretty sure that's not supposed to be through. Because huh. <laughs> that... It's supposed to be connected to that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Huh. So that might be why the heat is not working. Yeah. Hopefully that's just like a shield that we can remake that. Yeah. Oh, well. that's not a today problem. That is a rust day problem. But we're not doing rust today. Bambo. <laughs> can't go into war with grease. Double wielding. So we don't have a pressure washer today. So we're going to try to break down as much of the grease as possible. So we've we have... Orange agent. Pretty good. And then we've got... <laughs> The fingertips gone, brutal stuff. Yep. And then we're trying to break clean as well. Yeah. <laughs> and we're probably going to combine three types of chemicals and just blow up, really. Yeah, imagine you just like. <laughs> yeah. We really should have done this prior, eh? Yeah, we didn't think it through. But we've been busy. We're we've been on. very busy. This. Is that bottle done? I think it just needs to be filled up a little. Yeah, I might throw some more in it. Orange agent. We've run out of nearly all of it. Go show you how much we use. Running out of puff. It's my old favourite. You mean how much I use? Yeah. <laughs> Did 
shouldn't have handed me the torch. I know, you've gone way further than what we said we were going to. <laughs> Is it coming off or? Yeah. Kind of. You gonna drop the water? This reminds me of the day that we did the the yellow skew. Remember the day that we stripped it? Yeah. And it was just a day where we ripped everything off in like an hour and a half. It took us to completely strip the HQ, remember? Oh, that was fun. Huh. Huh. No water in it. Dry as a bell. Probably why it never overheated. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't have a lot of water in it, did it? <laughs> no. It's all right, they probably saved it sitting there for that long. So we just spent a good 10 minutes or so just testing out the waterproofness of our fender covers here. <laughs> and they tick all the boxes. Very waterproof. Very waterproof. Should we try and blow it down something? Yeah. She's a bit wet. <laughs> She's a little wet. <laughs> yeah, I guess that'll do. <laughs> I think we're going to get it any better. <laughs> no. We were clearly not prepared for today's episode. Ah, <laughs> oh, let's just get into we it then. We should have done this weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. All right, what do you want to do first? Um, bike one. And then maybe we'll label the leads and we might as well do the leads and dizzy cap and rotor button and contact. Oh, okay, let's work, let's do, it, let's do it clever. So we'll start from the way that the system works. So, coil goes into the distributor, distributor then does this thing into the leads and then to spark plugs. Let's do that. Let's do that. Did I get a coil? Yeah, you did. Yeah! It should be in that box there. Hopefully I got the right one. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. <laughs> There's a common flag. <laughs> Why is it so tight? I'm gonna scratch the shit out of the other one putting it in. Yeah, I know. Look at that. Because <laughs> I didn't unwind this all the way. Uh. Just increased the value of the car by three hundred dollars already. Yay! First new thing in the car. A fat. You ever done a road about them before? Yeah, I did on my patrol. They just pull off. What about? I've never done contact though. So. Neither have I. <laughs> Why can't we just like LS1 call swap it or something? <laughs> sort of sneaky hell taking it. Oh, it doesn't look too difficult. No, I think the biggest thing is you just got to gap it, don't you? It's got two screws in it. Does that look new? It actually looks new. <laughs> it looks... I don't think there's a point in replacing it. It doesn't look very... It doesn't look faded old, doesn't at it? all. Should we just leave it? Because we don't know how to do it? Yeah. Yeesh. <laughs> <laughs> That's something we can change when it fails. I'll just carry spare ones in the car. Yeah. Yeah, this looks a bit... Ugly and worn, that looks all nice and new. Yeah. So we will do this the way any idiot can. So I'll pop uh, I'll pop these out one by one, we'll change the plugs, and then we'll do the leads and then the, the cap. Yeah, right. Are they baby plugs? No, they're big plugs. Big plugs for a big engine, mate. See the servo it's pushing? <laughs> How they look? Pretty gunked up? No. They're actually pretty good. <laughs> That's what I reckon. This engine, I don't reckon this engine was like, I don't think this car was put in storage long after this engine was Rico. Yeah, I reckon you're right. Oh, we'll just smash the gap on these. I'll get the book. We'll get the book. You want to go after the book? Yeah. This book is everything. Everything? Except for. Spark plug cap. Got him. What is it? <clears throat> 0.7 to 8 millimeters. Yeah. 0.7.8. Right. Oh, perfect. Nailed it. Are they all going up? Well, it's running on 10 year old fuel. I'm, it's literally, it looks like it's running on two cylinders because look at the third cylinder and then look at four. Oh, wow. That is gunked up. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah. Maybe we change the fuel before we start it today. That's what I was about to say. You're, I'm sending you on an adventure to go get a jerry can of fresh fuel. An adventure? I'm just gonna go to the servo. It sounds better when you say adventure. <laughs> I'm going on an adventure. adventure. <laughs> <laughs> These leads have probably never been changed. Look at the ring that's got around. Go close up to that. You reckon that's old school? I don't know, I reckon. Maybe it's factory. 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 Like it's got that plastic thingy on it. Maybe. 
Anyone from the factory know? You just cut 40 years of history. I was gonna throw it, but I probably won't find it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dokie. All right, so we have one. Should we lay so, these out then? Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just take them off one by one and match like the length. That way they kind of all go through the, the hooks neatly. And so that we know what our firing order is. Yeah, we're just, we don't want to mess with it too much. So we're just gonna take them off one by one, put them back on the old cap and then put the new cap on. And yeah, because that's the thing with this car. I know we're not doing everything, but that's because this car runs really, really well. Aside from the fact that it's got 10 year old fuel on it, this car runs really well. So we don't really want to mess with it too much. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going by with this. We're just changing the obvious stuff like spark plugs and coils. Cause... Yeah, we're just we're just doing a freshen over. Yeah, because you oh, know so we're here, gone. we might as well. Those two are the same length. That's our shortest. Okay. This is number one. Oh, that clicked in nicely. That's it. We have a new distributor cap. This is where we find out the cap doesn't fit. I think this is where we find out the cap's on the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the right way. One, two, the cap's labelled. Hang on a second. Why do I think the cap not fit? Hmm. Why is it different? Where it clips on is bigger. Yeah, so what we're looking at here is this is the old rotor cap. Doesn't look the greatest. The points are a little bit like gunked up, I guess. Probably not terribly, but we do want to change it because we have it. But this locating notch here goes in here and you can see it locates on that little thing there quite well. But on this one, you can see it's a lot smaller. So it doesn't want to locate quite as well. So we need to trim this out here to make it bigger to fit. I'm sure there's a reason why this doesn't fit. So I'm sure people would know why. We don't. So this locating notch is obviously very specific because this will affect your timing, I suppose. <laughs> you know, because if the cap moves left or right, that'll affect timing. So as you can see, we're using the highest precision tooling here to make sure that we do get it as accurate as possible. And try not to lose a finger at the same time. However, it is working quite well. That was close. Good! This new needs more. Mm. I don't think my cut was very square, that was the problem. <laughs> I don't know why. Couldn't imagine why it wouldn't be very square. Hey, there okay. we go. Clipper up. And you know what? The tolerances are so tight now, you don't even need to use the clips. <laughs> that looks better already. No more shitty yellow. So, new coil, new leads, new cap, new button, and new plugs. I think next we're going to work on the cooling system. Get that sorted. Ignition system, done. Tick. Put that one away. Now we're going to go into cooling. I'm going to pull the radiator out because we're just going to give that a quick flush. Nate's going to pull the thermostat housing off. Uh, what was the other thing we had to pull Water off? pump. Water pump. Oh, we got your water pump too, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, and we have a new belt as well, so we'll do that all in one. It'd be a lot easier to get that fan off with the radiator out too, so. Yeah, exactly right. So we'll do all that now, that way it's done. And we'll move on from there and just keep trucking, I suppose. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> It's not bad though. It's like, actually not bad, yeah. Give it a clean, paint it black. Nah. Oh. Well, there goes the rest of that water. <laughs> <laughs> All the pressure. Biff. Uh. Okay. This is the thermostat housing. She's a bit how you going. We'll give her a clean up though. Scrape, sand it back. Paint silver? Bet you you paint it. No, I'm not paint. I'm not paint. It feels good to be wire wheeling stuff again. It means we're working. I know. Hey. It's actually pretty clean. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not as gross as those sort of half. Of yeah, we got a new radiator cap too. Hey. 
how to come up on the wire wheel. Yeah, all right. This, I would not suggest putting this back on to people, but because this isn't going to be in for much longer, it's fine. Yeah, well, it's probably going to be in for a little while. Yeah, until but fun. what we'll do is we'll just butt the hose right up as far as we can. Yeah. It'll be fine. Pretty sure the KHQ's run was like this for ages. Yeah, but mine was even worse. It was so thin here. Remember, there was like nothing Yeah, left. there was nothing there. But, you know, what can you do? Like, we, this needs to go back on today and we don't have another one. Lucky I cleaned up all that water. Water's clean. It's not too yeah, bad, look, actually. that's not really that bad. Like I've seen a lot worse I've seen than this. A lot worse than that. That's why I'm saying I really don't reckon this engine has done a lot of work because that's pretty good. Like you could leave that. We could have left that. That's okay though. It's all fun. He just couldn't help himself. Look how wide it is again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Is that the deadly stuff? Ow! Yeah. So it's probably just taking a layer of plastic off. Probably. I knew. I like it. I had to do this. I had to do something while you were gone. cleaning the bolts. <laughs> Out with the old, in with the new. Ooh. That's a different kind of impeller yeah, too. Yeah, it is. More turbo. Mm. More boost. More turbo spool. Yeah. Look how shiny it is. I know. <laughs> Do you remember which ones go where? The long boys? Yep, this one goes here. There's just something satisfying about doing water pumps. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Click. Got 10 year old gas in it. All right, so all we got left to do is radiator cap, throw the air filter on. That's about it mechanically. Oh, and bleed the cooling system, which is a good time for us to probably heat it up. Yeah. Heat the oil up, throw it on the hoist, drain the oil, and then I think we'll be good. We're not trying to make it turbo ready. We're just been sitting for a long time, replace the things that are cheap and the things you would replace. I'm gonna be the first to say that this is probably turbo ready, Nathan, for us. Oh, this the, is 100% turbo ready. The turbo ready is gonna be a dirty install for us. Someone just say stuff about it, man. This, you know, is, I think that's a fresh, it needs more. I'm gonna bring the pressure washer up. We'll degrease it and what else and see if there is an exhaust leak and stuff like that because we need to pass it for worthy. But at least we know that what has been changed is something that could prevent us being stuck on the side of the road in the future. It's almost winter time. <laughs> <laughs> Flick it over. <laughs> we went and got some fresh jungle juice because we know what's wrong with it. It ain't got good gas in it. <laughs> <laughs> Love to know how much fuel was actually in it to begin with. Yeah, fuel gauge. Uh, it was work. nearly empty, I think. Remember I said it was I think just it was close empty. to empty, yeah. Yeah. So hopefully this dilutes the shittiness of the uh, old fuel. Whoa. Oh. No is, way. That's a full tank. No Are you serious? Full. No way is that full. Although it sounds pretty full. No way! Alright, the gas gauge might read wrong. Might need a new fuel sender. Okay. How much fuel do you reckon it carries? 30 litres? 52. You're kidding. So there must still be a lot we in there. You didn't even put in that whole jerry. Yeah, so there must be a lot in it still. Crap. That's not good. No, because it won't even dilute it. Oh well. Alright, so what are you going to do with your cocktails? You just shake it. <laughs> <laughs> shake it up. Gotta make sure you get that shit fuel in with the good fuel. <laughs> <laughs> never know. And it's actually a bit green there, so. Try to pump some fuel. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Please stop. I started a lot better. What's sending you in? Summer or winter? <laughs> I think winter, winter. Okay. 
Sounds good, eh? Unreal. I love this little engine. It's a little engine that could. Yeah. We'll let it warm up, do its thing, and go from there. Hey, hey, the fan! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fan's on. Alright. Time to put it on the hoist, I suppose. Put it on the hoist, drop the oil. Like that. Keep going. Yep. So small. So here's something that I just learned. What? The windscreen wipers don't work. Oh. oh there's not a lot of points to grab it from, is there? Oh, okay. Well, it's not that bad. No. Even the, um... Yeah, stop that. Look how bashed up it is. I know. I can just get rid of it. No, I'm sure it's there for a reason. Probably to hide the old drip. Oh, the feeling of that warm oil on my head is nice. <laughs> <laughs> warm the end up. It is a bit chilly today, isn't it? We're definitely getting out of summer. Yeah. Thank God we flicked the switch. Well, we weren't planning on doing it, but seeing as though we're here, we figured we might as well do the manual transmission as well, too. Even though, there's probably nothing wrong with it. Even though there's probably no fluid in it. <laughs> Because it's a leaky boy. It's the Australian way. Oh, geez, that's uh, runny fluid. Is it? Yeah. When do you chop a mountain and leave it? Oh, oh. What? That you was a speedo drove no. no. Oh, it's collar. It's a cast collar. <laughs> that's not good. annoying. That's not good at all. No. That's a problem. Oh, you can get a new a hundred bucks! See, I only just break the top plastic of your dash, which was what? Five dollars? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what did I just do? I broke the speedo cable collar. <laughs> so, see that? This is one of those theories where they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Probably should have done that because it had fluid in it already. But see that collar right there, how it's missing a big chunk of it? Well, now that's useless, so I've had to buy another speedo cable to repair that luckily i found one on ebay so hopefully we'll get that within the week but yeah obviously that's no good but i think it means we can't fill it now because it might leak from there the fact that i broke isn't a big deal anyway because it was broken anyway like it was must have been cracked for a while because it was leaking from there anyway mm. so it wouldn't need to be repaired anyway but this just means that we're fast tracking that repair but we can't fill it today so we have to remember that we need to put juice in it yeah when we uh inevitably get the new one yeah all right what are you doing now Oh, I just got all the wheels off, uh, and I got the drums off the rear. Do you want to take the front calipers off and then call it? Yeah, I was just thinking if I pull the rotors off, because I'm going to reuse them, I'm going to see if I can machine them. The rotors? Yeah. I thought you got new rotors. Did I? <laughs> you don't even know what you got. The... I don't think there's any brake fluid in the system, is there? There is. Oh, there is? There is, yeah. <laughs> Where's it going? Yeah, I don't know where it's going. <laughs> That's why... The... Oh, we've got to pull the mast cylinder off as well, too, because I've got to take that with the... Uh, yeah, the okay. Yeah. So let's get that off as well. Alright, so we'll pull apart the brakes. Wouldn't it be? Yep, there it is. There it is. Yeah, you just... <laughs> you just hold that for me. <laughs> just got his head full of fluid. God, it's a goddamn rag when you need it. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. I reckon... What? They've lost a pin, look. This has been replaced with a split pin. Look, that's I mean, that's not going to stop it from like locking up the brakes though. Well, I don't know, because that's what slides the... No, it's not going to stop that, but like that's obviously dodgy. Dodgy? I mean, that's what holds the pad in. Yeah. Jeepers creepers. Oh, they're locked on. <sighs> Jeepers. <laughs> Jeepers. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly lost an eye. Almost gained an extra nostril. Didn't we decide it was the back that it was locked on? No, nah, it was the front. We thought it was the back. Probably because of this split bit. Because I'm wondering whether the pads are binding on it, because it's actually bent. How am I going to find another one of these? Another pin. Will Woods? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, they do slide on that, don't they? Yeah, so you can't have that in there. Yeah. So what we're talking about is, this pin here, 
factory pin has been replaced with a big split pin. And uh, you don't want that because it... Oh, yeah, there you go. It's, it's binding on it. Yeah, they just need some uh, rebuild, I think. Yeah, that's not a ass job. No, I'm going to have to take it to a brake guy, I reckon, because hopefully he might have like a pin laying yeah. around or something. Parts. Parts, pieces. Twin piston? One, twin, two? Yeah, twin piston. Wow. Jeopardize, mate. It'll stop know? better than a feeler. <laughs> it probably will. So, what we're replacing now is the wheel cylinder for the rear brakes. Uh, they're pretty corroded and it looks like there's witness marks of like all the brake juice leaking around it. So we'll replace them. They're easy and not expensive. So at least once they're done, they're done. I've done this on my HQ now a couple of times because it's gone a couple of times. They don't like sitting around. All right, we've done both sides now. Drums can go back on. We'll paint them another day. Yeah, well, why, why wheel them? Because I reckon what we're going to do is end up painting the hole. We're going to end up painting underneath. The hole underneath, yeah. yeah. To, just to clean it up and purely to look a bit nicer. Yep. All right, so now that they're sorted, the only thing that we want to get off today is we want to get the master cylinder off because I want to get that looked at because I feel like that could actually be our issue as to why we don't have a proper brake pedal feel as long as a myriad of other issues that we've come across, like things being... Seized. So we're gonna pull that off, that way I can take it all to a brake guy and get them recoded and get sorted, so. Jeez, don't pull the uh, booster off with it. There's not another bolt, is it, <coughs> down the bottom? Nah. Might need a... Give her a tap? Yeah, against the... Yeah, take this. ...booster. Oh, there we go. Beautiful! Awfully. That's ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. All right. Cool. That's that. So we got a little bit done today. We've got the engine mechanically sorted, you know, sorted. ignition and cooling, changed the oil. Can't change oil on the gearbox because someone broke the speedo cable. <laughs> but yeah, I reckon we're probably about halfway to getting it ready for a roadworthy as far as like mechanical and everything else, not including the rust. That's a whole nother, yeah. whole nother ball game in itself. But yeah, I'm, I'm stoked where it's at so far. No, I am too. It was good. Felt and good. And you know what? It's actually a really easy car to work on, to be honest. Super easy to work on. It's small, but it feels like there's a lot of space to work in. Yeah, exactly right. And yeah, there's nothing really that was difficult today. Yeah. The one good thing about this, everything's coming off pretty easy. It hasn't been any seized bolts or anything so yeah. far. And then next time we work on this, probably next weekend, hopefully we'll put the rest on, like the shocks and everything else, and maybe look at doing the bushes underneath it. So next week will probably be more underneath the car. And then from there, once that's done, body, and hopefully rego. Sweet. And figure out why the wipers aren't working. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you've liked this episode, please make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing so you see more stuff like this and see where we end up with this build. And if you'd like to support us further, you can head on over to our website where you can buy a bunch of Hackshop merch, including pre-order should still be running, I think, for t-shirts and hoodies. So thanks to everyone that's bought one so far. And if anybody else is keen to get one, it goes a really long way to helping you support the channel and fund all this sort of stuff. Our Fender covers are up for sale at the minute as well too. There are limited numbers, so please make sure to jump on them if you're interested in getting yourself a really good Fender cover. A huge thank you needs to go to Burson Garage and Burson Auto Parts for sponsoring this build and helping us get all these parts. Literally, I went in there and I just said, I need all this for a Gemini. And they said, here's a list, pick what you want. And I went tick, 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 tick. <laughs> and it all arrived within a couple of days. There's stuff in there that I would've thought, oh, it's gonna take a while to get this, but they were so quick at sorting it out. It was awesome. The team there are amazing. They definitely know their stuff and they are the parts professionals, as the name suggests. Uh, word of the day. What are we gonna do for word of the day? I don't know. We haven't done a word of the day for ages. Gunky. Yeah, we can go for gunky. Gunk. Yeah, gunk. this thing is full of gunk underneath it yeah. and it really needs a good clean. Anyone who comments below the word gunk, will pick two people at random and send out two Hackshot ticket packs. And until we see you in the next episode, which hopefully we're working on this or something else, we never really know, we make it up on the fly. <laughs> we will catch you in the next one. Hope you'll have a good day.
Is that the plan, Michelle? Maybe one day. <gasps> Where's Daniel's turbo? <laughs> <laughs> Is it down the bottom? Who cares? Let's do it anyway. <laughs> Clickbait? Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I feel, we've already attacked Daniel's turbo kit three times. I know. <laughs> and we've only been in the shed for one week. Daniel doesn't know that we've been slowly taking parts of his turbo kit. Shouldn't this be sitting at his place? <laughs> Probably for safekeeping, yeah. Yeah. I don't think we've introduced this on the channel. Oh my god, this is heavy! Yes, we have a turbo. We have a full turbo kit. <laughs> Do you know what it is that's for? A, that's a big turbo. Who can guess what it's for? In the comments below, who can guess what this is for? It's not for the Gemini. It's for something else. <laughs> oh, big boy! It's bigger than the engine. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of it. Oh, that looks sick though. I think we probably need a little bit of a smaller turbo. Yeah, I don't even think it's pulled that's out. That's a huge turbo though. That is a big turbo. Look at the size of it. Rear housing. Yeah. It's just monstrous. That's the size of Fairlane needs next. Compared to your, your Fairlane. Yeah, so if you, if you are trying to guess, it's not for the Fairlane. It's not for the XF. It's not for the Gemini. <laughs> Keep guessing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't have a we do, we don't have a rocket cover gasket. Oh well. Yeah, but it's probably it looks like it's leaking. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. The words of Gandhi. Oh well. Yeah. Remember, this engine is not going to be in here forever, I think, at this stage. The rods aren't going to be in there forever, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Eject the rod on! <laughs> um, of course, yeah, there's one on my top. Dream. Step into my Gemini. And we're back, people. We're back. <laughs> we're dropping bolts now. <laughs> Because to undo them, you're probably going to turn over the engine and Yeah, I was going to say, because like, you can't exactly hold it back by compression. <laughs> right now, I'm turning the engine as we speak. So that's good though, if the uh, starter motor ever dies, you just get there. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be like, ready, set, contact. Just, <laughs> just do the old Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Put the bar out the front. Make sure your hand gets out. Nah, just do it off the fan. Just make sure your hand gets out of the way before it starts. Number <laughs> two. Are we practicing our Spanish again? <laughs> We haven't been doing Spanish for a long time. I know, we've, we've really slipped up on that, haven't we? Gasqueta? <laughs> Espanol. Uh, sure. <laughs> Le <bota pompa. laughs> Gasqueta? <laughs> we should do a whole episode in our make believe Spanish. Yeah. Espanol, uh, Gasqueta. Le Gemenaya. <laughs> All we do is Just that. put E in front of it. <laughs> e apostrophe. <laughs> Let me refer to my manual over here. Emmanuel. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon the day? What day did you back in the 1970s come out and go, you know what? Summer's gone. <laughs> Time to flick over to winter mode. What day was that? And then when did you go, it's getting pretty warm out. Better make the switch. This is how it would have been, right? This is how it would have been. It's like, honey, I'm just going to go prepare the car for winter. We're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Wake up in the morning like, ah. <laughs> This feels like a good day to flick the switch. That's it for another six months. We're good now. <laughs> flick the switch! <laughs> you smashed it! <laughs> what else can we do? <laughs> we can put the new air filter in. <laughs> Done. <laughs> oh, that was... That was too fun. The probe because it's actually today, but it'd be like on the news, it'd be like, and daylight saving ends today, so don't forget to uh, check your smoke alarms and all you Gemini owners are there, don't forget to flicker over to winter. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>